The stairs in front of the woods are slick with blood and bodies. A thin smoke gently flows towards them. Above them on the surface, a horde is still gathered. A horde that Dusk and Elliot have been seeing too. Yet they are cornered, and with tiredness starting to take hold, the narcoleptic Dusk is maybe in more danger than she thinks. Yet these tenacious two will not fall so easily. They ready themselves for all the fighting that is yet ahead. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. We're, we're stuck in a basement, and it might seem like there is very little hope. But the smoke that was here just a moment ago has moved, and my gosh, there is a lot of stuff here. We're going to probably want to try and go through some of these things before we leave this place, but we won't be leaving just yet. Although, things have cleared out here a lot, so much so that Dusk may actually be able to move up here and find even more trouble waiting for them. Boy, that's that's a lot. Now, there might be an out from the situation. If we were to try and head over here, uh, effectively run through the room here, dive through the window, get outside, that, that could be an option. Most of the dead in the area should be here now, but there are many things that can go wrong with that. So how then do we want to manage this? Well, what we want to try and do is get across towards David Goldman. However, by the subway station, there was all kinds of trouble. My original plan was to kind of head out down this way and then make our way over here towards the west, towards David's cave. This is going to be difficult with Elliot following us, and my gosh, just, yeah, the numbers here are wild. But right now, we're actually staying in the shade, in the shadows, and that's kind of working for us. We might be being followed by one right now, so I'm going to go and send that one away from us with a forced shove. Yeah, it's a shrieker, so the sooner they go, the better. We actually instantly kill that one as well, which is great, but Elliot has decided to turn tail. And now he's come back. Okay, good. I don't know what he was thinking then. I was more than a little concerned. Making our way outside the window here, things are looking better for us. So let's start to head towards the southwest. I am I am surprised that, that worked. Uh, that worked better than I thought it was going to. So what we want to try and do is have a look up here towards the northwest. That's where there was a massive presence of the dead. Uh, but it seems like all of them made their way on over towards where we were just before. I am still concerned that there might be some over here towards the southwest. And let's just see if they also got picked up by, um, <laughs> by us. I mean, I'm not seeing many. I think... Uh, I think this kind of worked for us, bringing all the dead to that place there. Unintentionally, that was exactly what we needed to do. And we can already see the cave as well. Let's not be stepping in any sludge right now. We're going to be making our way on over towards here, seeing if we can't find an entrance. And oh boy, yep, there is the cave. And there is David. Ah, okay. Hey there, lad. Hi. Um, what are you um, doing here? Currently, I'm guarding this location. Overall, I'm looking for troglobite mutagen. This world is no place for humans no more, and I don't plan to keep being one. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, another mutant. So, David may already have troglobite mutagens going on. He is in a cave right now, so I guess that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Um, let's ask if there's anything that we can do to kind of help David out right now. I do have a job, if you want to hear about it. Sure, um, tell me. Oh, <laughs> the flag! Does our flag yet wave? We're battered, but we're not out of the fight. We need the old colours. Right, of course, yes. Because <laughs> you're most certainly an American as well. Okay. <laughs> well, he started with lad, so I went with an English accent, and, well, here we are. Okay, sure. We can try and do that for you, buddy. Um, we did actually have an American flag, like an extra one, and I believe it's back in our base. It's not It's not with us currently. But I know that we've seen some around recently. Let's just have a look at David here. Oh yeah, extremely strong, slimy, and with a subterranean build. Okay, I mean, we could immediately ask David to try and, um, you know, stick with us for now, but I think... 
I think him being here for now is probably going to be for the best. And ooh, I am seeing some veggies up here. We might be able to grab them to give Dusk a little bit of a snack. We're seeing a lashing zombie over towards the west. It hasn't really seen us just yet. It is a little close for comfort, but let's see what we've got going on in this backyard. I mean, there is a flag over here, but I don't think he was looking for the asexual flag. Um, oh, this is all cannabis. Okay, <laughs> okay. I mean, that's not going to help us out, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see what else we have going on in here. It's more weed. Okay. <laughs> the house is pretty well locked down at the moment. Uh, but there is some broken glass here. We could try and pop a hit inside and see if there's, you know, anything going on. Cute. There is a bat here, which means that there were probably other bats down there interesting that the bat is marked as a mind over matter creature so yeah don't know why let's just see if we can clean the broken window it's a it's a task that takes more time yet it is quieter if we were to just smash the glass then um yeah it wouldn't be good oh we are outside right now it is still morning um oh yeah the, the sunlight irritates your head and hands okay yeah so we we need to get our umbrella back out so we'll grab that and we'll expand it just like so and it looks like we'll probably be able to get a few joints from this property which we are going to look at doing anything in the kitchen no just some glass shards some liquid soap okay so not too much in here there might be more in the basement I'll be sure to check that out we'll just see if there's anything here that's been left but no most of the stuff has been uh looted or removed Oh, great, and there's a thorny shambler down here, and a feral prepper to boot. Okay, right, so we're going to change over to our force unarmed. We could use Tai Chi down here, but I think we're just going to go with this option. We are going to force shove that back. Did it hit a wall? I don't think it did. Oh, it might have, actually. No, it did. We sent it quite a ways. And there we go, that'll finish it off. Elliot, watch out. Oh, there we go. The feral prepper is down. Pocket survival guides, some water purification tablets, the flare, hmm, yeah, we'll take the flare. I think we could create a little bit of a distraction with that. And, you know, other things. But that'll do for now. We'll smash the corpse. And, oh, a howling dog. Yeah, sorry about this. Needs to happen. Because that is going to produce some pretty terrible things if we leave it be. So, yeah got to be seen to. Uh, speaking of seeing to things, we should probably try and see to our wounds just to check and see how they're looking. Very good at the moment. Our head doesn't have anything on it. Torso will make that very good. And then I think we'll go and use some proper antiseptic on them as well. So the torso first of all and then our left leg. Everything else can get the alcohol wipe treatment. There we go. And then finally some adhesive bandages on our less than important wounds. Cool. Okay, I am happy with that. Just double checking there's nothing else hidden away in this basement here. Doesn't look like there is, so back up to the surface. Let's see. Um, we're not going to mark the cave as explored just yet. Our next destination was the radio tower, which is right here. So it's nice and close. Is there anywhere around here that we might be able to find an American flag? I mean, the stadium is right here. Surely, <laughs> surely there's going to be a lot of them there. Uh, the police station is also a good bet as well. It might have been slightly destroyed by this crater. We can check that out. Uh, but we've got options to give David the flag that he desires. Got even more subway stations around here as well by the looks of things. But yeah, okay. So, swamp over towards our west. We'll be mindful that there could be some pretty uh, nasty things in there. We've spotted a feral human over towards the west oh and there's oh okay no they're they're all down to the southwest the zombie predator yeah that's nasty um i really hope that david hasn't left this cave he hasn't he hasn't okay that's good good for you david um nap time over here elliot i am sorry my friend it is not nap time it is the opposite of nap time it is go time that's a zombie predator my friend we don't mess around with that. And we're going to use our force shove to slam that back against the wall because we don't mess around with that. It was a zombie predator postman as well. The most dangerous of them all. Now, we're probably going to get hit by a few rocks here. I'd ideally like to not have that happen. I mean, they haven't thrown any. Okay, that was all right. Mad militia. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at you. 
tactical camo uniform Kevlar vest and then a feral prepper behind you. Okay, so I'm imagining they might have come from the same house that we just dealt with some of our other uh, friends. So let's start swinging at you. We'll back up towards Elliot. They do have, um, are they trying to run? Maybe. Well, let's go and fling you against that wall there and then move quickly over towards this one. Excellent. All right, there we go. Checking everything that's on the ground here and seeing what we have. We've got survival matches, we've got a trail guide, and we do actually have some clothing here that could potentially be useful. A carbine that is completely empty, it's a little damaged as well. Eh, nothing that we're really wanting to take. I think we can pass that stuff by, but we will smash those bodies because they are very close to where David is, and we're also going to try and see if we can deal with some of the dead that are around here as well. We've got a uniformed zombie down there, which I'm guessing is just like a lower version of the soldier zombie, so they don't have all the protective equipment. They obviously served in the military, but um, yeah. Okay, so we don't know how much damage we've done to this thing yet, but I think we've done some. Let's make our way on over towards it. Help Elliot try and take this thing out. Spin around towards the other. And there we go. Got them taken care of. Nothing much on that uniformed zombie. Okay, all right, so I kind of love the idea of Dusk with Umbrella in hand, just making a mess of, <laughs> of the dead. And I was intrigued as to what might have happened down here, but I think I know. That's a Sturge, which I think is like some kind of, I mean, obviously it's a bug. It's probably like a Dermatic, just judging by the sprite, but it killed a zombie necromancer, so that's fun. Thank you for doing that, I appreciate that. Um, we do have this Lasher coming on over towards us now, and the Shrieker is a bit more of a problem because I don't want there to be a big zombie population here, so we're going to try and see if we can mind hammer it. It's not enough to kill it, we actually lose concentration on it. Trying again, we lose concentration yet again. What's our percentage here? Whoa, okay, we have a very high chance to fail, and we're thinking a lot of that is just due to probably our tiredness, and also the fact that we are dealing with a fairer amount of pain. It definitely left a shriek there. Oh, and now that I'm looking at this house that's across the way here, that's definitely where all of the preppers and stuff like that came from. Um, yeah, that's a house that uh, we might actually be able to find some good stuff still in, because they seem to be relatively prepared for the apocalypse. We've got a zombie soldier coming for us now as well, so there might have been a small contingent of soldiers here, but Dusk <laughs> really having no problem striking this one down, and excellent an mre we're going to take the pastry take the fruit jam the crackers the frankfurter entree potatoes as well nice okay and there is a new bayonet there elliot the weapon he's using okay it is a little damaged so let's just hold on to that for now and we'll give that to him after just a little bit i'm kind of tempted to check out this house now Okay, we've got a zombie hunter coming from the south. It's going to be leaping on over towards us. There we go. Oh, okay. Got us. Bit down on our arm. Okay, we'll start to put some pressure on that. Oh, we can't actually because we are wielding the umbrella. So instead, we'll just go and put a bandage on that. Because it is a little bit more damaged than I would like. And that should stop the bleeding. There we go. Okay. Got another body down here. A feral human that's been taken out. And the radio station. Okay, so we're going to go, ooh, are we going to go into here? No, no, that's another bloated zombie in there. There's a paramilitary zombie as well. I mean, here's the thing though, they could have some pretty decent stuff. We are definitely going to want to try and use Mind Hammer from a distance though, but I mean, 69% is a lot better. It is quite hurt. You know what? I think we should actually just be able to slam that. I'm going to try one more Mind Hammer, see if we can get that off. Whoops. Okay. All right. That was, um momentum alteration. I'm kind of okay with us having that up at the moment. Now let's try that mind hammer. No, oh, actually no. No, no, we're not going to do that because it's far too close now. Uh, we're going to go for a shove and hope, hope that we're okay. I don't know. No, we were in it long enough to get affected by it. Unfortunate, unfortunate, <laughs> but it's dissipating pretty quickly from what we can see. Jeez, we're not doing much damage to you. Okay, back out a little bit further. We've got a medical horror there. That's fun. Slam you against the wall there, or at least against your friend. And then we'll see if we can double team you. There we go. Whoa! Okay. All right. So, Metal Hall Horrors are super dangerous. I 
probably should have read the description on it. Uh, Because Dusk just got thrown through the air and her torso was absolutely wrecked by that strike. Well, we've certainly messed them up here, but yes, the oversized muscles are the culprit here. That thing is incredibly strong. The damage that we just took to our torso is enough to give us severe pain and just a very, very, very bad time. So, um, what are we going to do about you, medical horror? We need to get you into position where Elliot can finish you off. Stepping into that puddle was a massive mistake. What I was trying to do was get an angle where we might be able to use our telekinesis to our best advantage, but yeah, um, that was that was not a good move. Not in the slightest. And Dusk, being as injured as she is, should be really trying to take things a little bit easier. Um, let's just see where our poisoning is affecting at the moment. It looks like it might just be the head. And if that's the case, that's okay. But yeah, we're also dealing with our torso being very, very damaged right now. Much more damaged than I would ever like. We're seeing a devourer down there by the radio station now. Okay, all right. You know what? We can always come back into this house after a little while, after we let uh, time pass by. I'm not that concerned about the devourer right now, but I guess we'll see. I mean, <laughs> it can it can go bad quickly. Mm, okay, we're taking a little bit more damage than I would like, and we got some filth on our arm, so it's not as disinfected as it was. Let's shove that back against the wall, though. Whew, that did it. And this bile that's just come out of it. Interesting. Messy. Okay, we've got a zombie dog nearby as well. I'm tempted to try and smash this body, just in case we are here for a while. Hello, feral lizard folk. My gosh. This lizard folk's eyes are bloodshot as they walk among the dead as though one of them. Their tongue repeatedly flickers in and out of their mouth like a snake. I'm assuming they can also throw rocks, which would not be great right now because our torso is not in a very good condition. Um, so we want to be rather careful with how we do things here. Um, we can't climb this locked gate, unfortunately, so we're going to try and go around. I'm not sure how strong the lizard folk is going to be, so ideally, Elliot will be able to assist us here. Wonderful work, my friend. All right, let's see if we can kill that one there. We've got a tentacled zombie that's coming out of the survivor house now towards us and lashed out towards us. You know what? Let's actually go and pull it in towards us. I think that might be smarter. We don't have the range to fight them right now. There we go. Far hand gets them in nice and close and we take them out quickly. I have just seen that they have opened the way into here a little bit more. We could have a little bit of a look around before we head up towards the station although Elliot does not like being close to that poison cloud so I don't blame him I don't blame him in the slightest except for the fact that he just left he just left he decided to not go through the window <laughs> okay buddy okay right well let's go down this way for now we've got a meddler we've got another feral lizard folk they're going to need to deal with and also a zombie hunter which is hopping and jumping its way on over towards us Okay, lizard folk, you're going to be up first. Let's just move to the side here. There we go. We'll smash it if we have time. Okay, and we'll just go around. We don't want more of the fence to be destroyed if we can avoid it. We'll let them come down towards us. Awesome. Elliot, you did some great work there. Okay, now, um, the glass here is broken. So I don't think we have a living person in the station. But we're still going to check it out before we climb the radio tower. And also... Hey, look at that. Yogurt. We're going to go and eat that right now. We do have other things that we can eat as well, but we're going to be leaving that just for the time being. Turning on safe mode and continuing into the rest of the station here. Seeing if there's anything in the way of books or anything else that we want. The cards we are always going to want to try and grab. Nothing back there. Well, I mean, let's see. We'll go and try and pull that out the way. We're in too much pain. Let's enhance our strength if we can. We can, and there is nothing there. Now we know. We'll leave our strength up just for a little bit longer to make sure that there's nothing else that we want to try and move around here. Another memory card will take you. And the front doors are locked. Okay, we do have this other space here. Interesting, there could, there could be someone in there for all we know. We can crack the door, and we may wish to do that. That feral lizard folk there hasn't seen us just yet, so I'm going to try and move before it you know smashes through the door or the window and let's crack it 
Okay, we don't see anyone in here. Okay, we we actually probably knew that from going around before. Uh, let's check the computer here, see what we got going on. Broadcasting control, bypass security. Um, we we'll give it a shot. Yes, our hacking is certainly better. Install repeater mod, browse audio archive, error signal disconnect. Warning, radio tower is unresponsive, backup power insufficient to meet broadcasting requirements. In the event of an emergency, contact local National Guard units to receive priority when generators are being deployed. Browse audio archive. Well, very interesting. We're hearing static right now. Accessing archive. Oh, <laughs> okay. Playing audio recording NR4034. This is not a test. Seek immediate shelter. Multiple missile launches have been confirmed to be targeted to seek immediate shelter. If community shelters are not available, alternative shelter locations are basements, beneath stairwells, or central rooms with no windows. Ensure that you have sufficient protection from falling debris. Ensure that you have food and water for at least one week. Repeat, seek immediate shelter shelter and we'll press any key okay all right and yeah we've got a number of these it seems playing audio recording nr 7938 i'm dj dust bowl this is my coast sam and my survival tip for today folks is to simply be resourceful this sounds like a whole lot of vague bullshit i know but I managed to find another survivor broadcasting on ham radio. We got to talking, and this crazy motherfucker has apparently made a complete suit of armor from sheet metal padded with ripped up body pillows, a mace from plumbing pipes, and has retooled their old hatchback into a fucking armored brick. People, while we might be living in a wasteland, with some creativity, we can still make it ours. So, I'm going to queue up with the appropriate track... Sam, you sign us off, and to all of you listening, chin up and say, welcome to my wasteland. Okay, buddy. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like, I like that we have these archives here. Um, a repeater mod. Yeah, interesting. So that will be part of some kind of quest structure, and I like that that is there, and I'm intrigued about exploring that over time. This, however, the National Weather Transcripts is a useful piece of information that we can use in many other quests. Um, they're old weather records which show the, you know, the weather throughout the megacity over the months prior to the cataclysm, as some people believe that whatever has happened may have been transmitted by, you know, various different weather patterns. So useful for us to hang on to that, to have in storage somewhere. For now though, we are going to look at getting climbing, and we are going to climb all the way up, and we got two different solar arrays here. Oh boy, okay. I would like to try and go for them, if possible, and we've got some ammunition up here. We'll take it. And we've got a chocolate bar, which we're probably going to eat right away. We've got an MRE that's got some peanut butter up here, a pair of combat boots that aren't looking so hot, and a dog tag that we're going to pick up. Yeah. Let's take all of that. Let's go and eat that uh, chocolate bar there. Sit on this chair for a moment and take in the environment around us. And so immediately at this level, we are seeing a few things that are as high as us. All the way over here, we're seeing an office skyscraper. I don't know if we're seeing anything that's going higher than this, because I think this is the highest we can possibly get. We're seeing steeples in the distance. And then looking down further, we are going to start to see a lot more popping up and hot Damn, a big mall of some kind? Yes, it is. It's a mall. It's a massive, massive mall. That, I feel like, will have a number of things for us. There are also subway stations right outside of it. Many, many subway stations over here in Concord. Having a look at some of the other things that are around here, I mean, there's so much visual things going on. It's very difficult to pick out everything so i will try to go through here a little bit to see what we might be able to spy together things that might be of interest that's a dino zoo over here and ah it's a pool i thought it might be yet another lab the dino zoo that we had uh further over towards the west that did have the lab quite close to the zoo down here we have a hospital it's good to see another one on the map 
And I mean, this whole area down here, Middletown and St. George, those are areas that we couldn't see before at all. And I am seeing something else in Ipswich. What I'm generally looking out for are symbols that look different, symbols that stand out. And those things generally are things from magicalism. And this, that, actually no, that's mind over matter. Crystal outcroppings over here in New Ipswich, which is quite close to a evac shelter over here by the river. Interesting, very interesting. Wow, we were close to being able to see that, really. I still think what would be amazing is being able to search by the origin, be it Dark Days Ahead or Mind of Matter or Magicalism. As looking through here, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So one of the things that we've noticed that we've been able to find more magicalism related things in are those cabins out in the woods. So we're going to see if we can try and find some cabins as well around amongst all of this. And I guess the next thing is, yeah, where is our next radio tower or our next thing to climb on top of? And it looks like it's probably this one over here, which is over by the mall. So if we did make a pilgrimage out towards that thing, yeah, we'd be able to get a pretty good sight. We can already see just how far we have come from where we started, all the way up there in the northwest. It's far, but it's also not far at the same time because of how dense the mega city is. A lot of the things that we'd usually have to travel quite far for are closer, but there's a lot of danger between all those things. Well, okay, it's great that we've got all that information, but where does that leave us right now when it comes to our current tasks? Well, the stadium could still very well have a flag that we could hand off to David in order to finish that quest. But as for where we might try and find welding rods around here, there isn't any major heavy industry from what we can see. A lot of the times that kind of industry is going to be on the outskirts of town and we're kind of right smack bang in the middle of a very, very large town. <laughs> <laughs> so I think finding someone like that down here is going to be rather difficult for us to do. But in saying that, I do still think that the mall can present some really, really good options for us when it comes to the equipment that we're going to need to survive long term. Now, as to how we actually get there, that's the tricky part. Obviously, the subways would be one of the easiest paths for us to try and travel, and it does look like the route continues on from here. We just can't see it yet. If I had to guess, I'd say the next station is going to be here in Huntington, and then the rest of them do seem to connect up. Eventually, we will need to try and sleep. We have slept, you know, underground in the subway stations before. It's not very comfortable. It, it really isn't. We could potentially find somewhere here for us to try and sleep. Any of these houses that have a second story to would be good enough. It looks like most of these are, you know, just, just rooftops, really. The police station over here does have a second floor. Just having that little bit of separation can be enough. Obviously, basements are also a good idea. And many of these houses could very well have basements. I mean, we've discovered some ourselves. Yeah, there's the one right by David's cave. <laughs> So I think first things first, we're going to try and just scout out the stadium from a distance. We're not going to go take on a full stadium's worth of people just to get a flag. I feel like that's more than a little irresponsible, but we can at least get close and see what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. Can we? Okay. Interesting. I just had a thought. Oh, no, it's not going to work like that. I was hoping we could grab onto the dumpster and then use it kind of like the shopping cart that we were using before, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, we also made a bit of noise, so we've, uh, we've got some attention. That's okay. We can deal with that. Looks like this crawling zombie is maybe gonna get here before the feral, you know, lizard folk. Yeah, here we go. Let's give you a few good whacks, stunning you in the process. We'll move back here just so that we have Elliot as an option. Okay. And so it's pretty much a direct diagonal down here to see what we've got going on. And man, something's been going on at the park here. Um, it's a little hard to tell. It's a dog park. Oh, it's this is where there's a crater. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> it looks messy. It looks really, really messy. Yeah, there's a crater there <laughs> right, right in the middle of the dog park. Unfortunate. Okay. 
but yeah so this is the stadium over here we can actually kind of still use the early lights to our advantage because we can see the dead well before you know they can see us and ooh, okay okay there's security cameras on this it is a armored personnel carrier or it was um oh damn they're all pretty wrecked they're, they're hmm, they might be fixable it would take a little bit to get them off having cameras on the outside of the vehicle is very very helpful Okay, there we go. American flag. I can see it. Okay, and I reckon we can get to that without too much trouble. I mean, there's definitely going to be trouble, but like I said, not too much trouble. Um, grab that flag. And you know what? Yeah, we will kill the dead that are around here. There we go. Take you out and take you out. And let's start to move, Elliot. Let's get out of here because there's no point in hanging around and dealing with all of those dead because we don't really want to fight them. And if we can avoid it, we probably should. That boomer though, that is going down. No, it's not. We're going to try again. And we fail yet again. What's our mind have a percentage at? It's pretty freaking high. So in that case, let's just do this the old fashioned way. That works. That works very well. Just bounce it off of the hood. Yeah. Okay, so from here, we can probably go up and through the home here. Back in the direction of David's place and hopefully not run into too much trouble along the way. See if that's possible. Oh, hello, there's trouble. <laughs> okay, it happened. We already made a bit of noise, so I'm fine with us just smashing that there and heading on over in the direction of the cave. Elliot, keep up, we are nearly there. Okay, you still alive? You seem to be. Okay, and David, yep, here you go. You do have another job. Ah, of course, yes you do. Let's just say, yet again, we need no payment. And I would be interested in hearing the job, because I think it's probably the helicopter again. Which I feel like, because we weren't able to help Walter, being able to help David here, I think, I think Dusk would like to, if possible. Yep, same again. Okay, try and track down a black box from one of the helicopter wrecks. Okay, uh, any advice on that? I'd avoid crashing in a city or a forest though, so it would have to be in an open plains. And I don't know if we have much of that at all. Um, we could ask if he wants to trade, see what he's got. American handgunner, uh, some ram, and that's kind of about it. I also don't suppose we could ask you to uh, join us, right? No, no, not while we have an ongoing mission. Um, now, in saying that, we do, we do have some fields. Yeah, we just haven't run into a helicopter crash yet, so it's not impossible that it could happen. Like over here, we've actually got a considerable amount of fields. It's possible. It is It is definitely possible. I mean, over here in the swamp, we had the helicopter crash. The light helicopter crash, but yeah, okay. Somewhere, there will be one. Oh yes, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the crystal outcroppings over here in Ipswich. I definitely want to investigate that, but I think that's probably going to be something that we look at after we've tried the mall. Because we don't know of any of the subway stations down here. There is a chance that some of them link up, but it doesn't seem like they're connecting to the existing networks. Unless, of course, this one over here does continue on. Which, I don't know if it does. Kind of looks like the end of the line for this one here. I mean, it is something that we can check though. But now, now we need to try and get some kind of sleep. And, well, we got the weed house, don't we? Let's have a look about moving into the basement there. And, okay, that was a very dramatic sound. You okay? What was that, David? And are you okay? It looks like you're being grabbed, but not being grabbed. It was a regenerating zombie? Where did that come from? I'm just going to check the rest of your cave, bud, to make sure that you're okay, because that was not here when we were here. And I'd very much like to know what's going on. Also, why do we have so much light here? We don't have our light on. I guess there mustn't be a roof. That's how we're kind of seeing into here. There are two different entrances, so okay. The regenerating zombie could have come that way. I'm going to poke my head downstairs, though. I hope you don't mind. Dinosaur droppings. Okay. Ah, I see. We've got some little ones down here. That's okay, as long as there's nothing too dangerous that might wander up and do damage to David. We've got eggs here as well, so they're probably going to hatch at some point soon. Looks like this has maybe also been kind of dug out by some other kind of creature. More rotten eggs. If they weren't rotten, I mean, we'd be totally down. 
but unfortunately <laughs> they all seem to be bad. I think if there were some that weren't bad, they would be on top. So seeing a rotten pile like that means that they're pretty much all the same. Oh, okay, they're emerging from the dirt. So they're kind of burrowing, interesting. That's cool, all right. Good for them, they can burrow. Are you gonna be okay, buddy? I think so, I think so. It says he's being grabbed right now, but you'll be all right. Pull yourself together. Oh, we do actually have a basement over here as well, but the house does look pretty messed up. I guess, you know, we've got choices. We've got uh, a few different ones that we can have a look at. Okay, but this is this is kind of comfortable. Comfortable enough. I mean, it's not it's not great. <laughs> um, what's the temperature like down here as well? Also seems to be comfortable. So what we need to do now is just have a look at our wounds. Have a look at Elliot's wounds as well, which pretty good. He's going to heal relatively quickly. Um, we're going to go and put this umbrella away now, though, and we're going to have a look and see if we need to put bandages on anything else here. Yeah, I mean, anything that's as damaged as that, we're going to want to make sure it is very good or as close to as very good as we can get. Uh, yeah, torso is currently poor, so let's make that very good. We can use regular bandages on our head. I think that's fine. Left leg is already very good. Left arm is just good right now. I think we'll, we'll make it very good. And then antiseptic. Okay, so we've got more antiseptic powder than we actually do antiseptic at the moment. The powder still seems to disinfect totally fine. And we'll only really do it on the ones that actually need it. Everything else we can just use alcohol wipes because we've got a lot of them. Cool, that's everything dealt with at this stage. So now comes the food. We should actually have some heat packs because we took the whole uh, MRE with me. Well, I thought we did. We didn't, that's okay. Uh, let's go use our cell phone here and we'll just go, we can make some sandwiches. We'll go for a PB and J sandwich and see if there's anything else that we can make there. Strong alcohol mix, no. So we'll have the PBJ sandwich. We're satisfied right now. We still need to have more calories. We've only spent 1600 so far though, so we don't have to go too far. The beans and stuff like that would be better if we ate them hot. So I think we're gonna try and do that. We do have a furnace down here. We have a fry pan, so we should be able to do this without too much trouble. We're just gonna go deconstruct. We're gonna take that table apart here. And then we're gonna take that stuff on over and put it into the fire. So the planks, the panel, that'll all go in there. We will start a fire. And then we're gonna go and activate the fry pan to go and heat up. We can heat up everything one by one. So we'll do the frankfurter and beans first. Eat all of that, wonderful. Now we'll go and activate the potatoes. Heat them up, much nicer that way. The pastry we could also do, but I think we're just gonna eat that as is. And then clean water. We're gonna go and start drinking that until we are slaked, excellent. Do we have clean water in here per chance? We do. So we're gonna dispense that. We're going to pour it into our hydration pack there. Elliot. How is your hydration pack looking? So we'll just talk to him, say that we want to trade. He's still got lots of smoked meat at the moment. The smoked sucker and whatnot, so that's gonna that's gonna keep him happy for a while, I think. Uh, 12 water in his hydration pack as well. He is doing totally fine. Okay, so cell phone light off. Let's stop hauling those nails, and I think this is where we're gonna sleep. Yeah, everything is set. We could sleep in here, that would be safer. I kind of like the idea of us doing that just because I'm concerned about just things sneaking up on us, really. Um, so we should be more than, uh, yeah, capable of doing this now. We'll move that over here. So there's two different seats that we could actually sleep in, in here. Um, I'm not sure which is going to be more comfortable, really. Armchair and sofa. Not quite a bed, but it's a hell of a lot more comfortable than the floor most certainly is. Um, I do, yeah, I think we're just gonna go with that. Elliot, you can take the armchair. This is gonna be just fine. Let's lay down our head to go to sleep. You know what, we'll actually stop that for a second because we, are you asleep over there, buddy? Just on top of the filing cabinet? Let's see, he fell asleep on top of the filing cabinet. Okay, why? There's also blood splatter on the ground. Uh, that you, maybe? Not sure. That's strange. Okay, we're gonna go and stop concentrating right now. Um, yeah. Get our movement and our muscles back to normal, just so we're not consuming too many calories while we're sleeping. 
We'll try and do this again. I think we may need to, because of the insomnia, try to drink some tequila. That'll help. And I don't think that we've got anything else. I mean, we could take a prescription sedative. Um, we'll see how we we'll see how we go. We'll give this a shot. It might actually be the smashing that is keeping us up right now, because we're hearing something from the northeast and above that is smashing. I think we'll just leave Elliot here for the time being, and we might go try and see what the hell is doing that. So we're going to take out our umbrella again, so that we're ready and rearing to go. So, to the northeast, huh? Who's causing all this noise? Slathering Viter, is that you? Could you be the one that's been keeping us awake? Possibly. Ow. <laughs> Ow. We're still in intense pain, so yeah, okay. It could have been that one. I don't see anything else around that could have been making that noise. So we're gonna go with that option. Put that umbrella back away. Let's go stop that bleeding on our left arm and see if it needs to be rebandaged. It might need to. No, good is gonna be good enough. All right, here we go. Finally, there we go, Dusk. Great, and not even an hour has passed and we're woken up by smashing. No, I don't believe we have access to any earplugs at the moment, but that's, uh, that's frustrating. Okay, what is making that noise? Because we are not seeing it currently. We're not seeing what's making that smashing noise, but there is something out here. Or maybe there isn't, maybe there isn't. I mean, there's a dog up there, um, we're just gonna have to go through some of these, uh, properties to see if we can figure out what might be making all this noise. I mean, okay, I think we figured it out. I think we figured it out. There's a, there's a whole ass horde up here. Uh, that is a, that's a shocker. Um, okay. Yeah. That, okay. This makes much more sense now. <laughs> this makes much more sense now. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. We're running. We are running, we're running, we're running as fast as we possibly can. And it looks like we're going to be using a different basement. Um, how are we going to try and do this as quickly as we can? Can we move that? We can, there. Doesn't really help. I'm just trying to bury the basement where possible. Can't grab that. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I, mm, okay, the zombie hunter did see us then. But there's doors down here. And we're not alone. We're not alone. Okay. Alright. Well, Elliot's fine right now. He's asleep, soundly, hanging out in his other space. Let's see, what's our force shove like right now? Still super, super reliable. Ever reliable as it is. Okay, let's go and make sure that you're dead. And it sounds like, hello, two zombie hunters. Well then. Okay, we're going to go and move back here. We're going to slam you back over that way there. We're going to move up and try and do the same thing to you. With a force shove, slamming you into that corner there. Hey, buddy. How about you also fly over there? And then let's close that door. Because they were the fastest ones. They got there quickly. And, ooh, another umbrella. Okay, I see. Anything else on these ones? A memory card. Yep, we will take you. And nothing in that wallet. Okay, well, we might as well see what's down here. While we are down here. See what else is on these tables. There's a breadboard. And a syringe. Interesting. Oh, and there's a zombie hanging out back here. And I think I did hear some more people knocking at the door. We will see if that's the case in just a moment or two. I'd like to get to these boxes. We did it, and there's nothing in there. We can hide in those boxes. We can also sleep on that couch. Um, if the banging and everything like that isn't too much, that's also... It's a water purifier. I thought it might have been something else for a moment then. We can see the basement that Elliot is in. Uh, we're still hearing smashes, um, which that, that'll be the dinosaurs and whatnot. The dinosaurs that no doubt are going to keep us up for a fair bit longer. Okay, let's just peek up the stairs and see if we've been followed. We haven't yet. So we could always go for the subway station as well, or honestly, another property here. Probably also have basements. Elliot's fine right now. He, he is sleeping. He is totally knocked out. Uh, he may even be a heavy sleeper. Are we? I thought we might be a heavy sleeper. No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, interesting. How long have we had that going on? for. I mean, Dusk has definitely had that in the past. Okay. I'm not sure when we mutated a snout. So those fangs of hers are, you know, outward a little bit more now. I don't know if that's going to be something that sticks around. 
As we know with Elliot, how quickly things change. Intriguing. Okay, well, let's go into here for now, Dusk. See if there's anything else in this house right now with us. As, yeah, she just wants to sleep. Just wants to have a good sleep. And you know what? Maybe this isn't a house with a basement. Uh, looks like it might be a duplex. Let's go out the front here and hope that we just don't run into too much trouble right this second. There's another bin, completely damaged. I think that could be a good option if we find one that is in decent condition. What store is this here? It's a military surplus store, or was a military surplus store. Not very useful anymore. Yeah, I think this is just single story from the looks of things here. So, no, well, yeah, no use to us. We're not sleeping in a room that has shattered windows like that. That's it's not going to be good for anyone. We we could try the subway station, but I think the proximity is still uh, the, the main problem here. We could just go for this house over here as well. That's totally an option. It's looking like it's in relatively good condition, um, all things considered. Let's take out that decayed zombie. Some chewing tobacco here. Fair amount of currency, but nothing that we want right this second. And it looks like we've got a nice community garden here. Yeah, that's nice. Strawberries? Ooh, mature plants. I mean, don't mind. Oh, no fertilizer for the strawberry. And we do uh, mm, Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. We just wanted to sleep. But is that going to happen? No, no. Not, not easily it ain't. Not easily it ain't. Okay. Well, hi there. Hi. Come on. In here. Same thing with you. Come on. Get over here. Okay, smash them. And we'll take your memory card. And those Neko wafers too. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, looks like we can close the door. We could sleep in the car here. Not a terrible option. We're going to keep that in mind if we don't find any basements or any staircases leading us up. This might also be a single story property. Uh, it seems like it is. Wow, it's small. Okay, um, looks like it might be like a shared garage here. Uh, we'll just clamber through this car. Hang on. This car is in, like, pretty good condition. Yeah, I mean, the security system is trashed on it, but everything else seems to be okay. I mean, the battery is gone, but the engine is all right. What's back here? Scissor jack and a wheel. Okay, and checking out this... Oh, gosh. Bombardier Boomer. That doesn't sound good. Very elongated arms. Oh, that's a lashing zombie. Okay, well, where is the Bombardier Boomer? Oh, it's in the other house. I can see it now. Okay. Exposed rib cage is encircled by swollen lungs and other organs. You would prefer to be far away when this one bursts. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Um, okay. <laughs> Man. My gosh. Uh, okay. Looks like there's like a little bit of a skylight here as well. Doesn't really help us. Okay. Um, well then. Are there any good options for sleeping? Right this second, it doesn't seem like the answer is yes. So... Onwards then. You know what? Let's have a look in the military surplus store. It's pretty wrecked. It looks like there's an entrenching tool in here, possibly. We already have our own. There could still be some other, you know, semi-interesting things here though, so we'll still have a look. Make our way around the back. Hello, skull zombie. Let's go and fling you against the wall. And you're nearly dead, so... Oh, okay. I was gonna say one more strike should do it. We missed that first strike though, unfortunately. Nothing hidden back here. I mean, some rubber boots. Not bad if you're going to be dealing with a load of acid. Okay, so how is the next house going to be for us? How terrible, how good. Let's find out together as we start to make our way on over. Oh, okay. It has both a basement and an upstairs. So how is this basement? Giant cellar spider. Okay, let's go and fling you down there. Okay, there is nothing else down here. So if we could just take a mattress from one of the beds, then we'd kind of be set. Or we could actually just sleep upstairs like a normal person. Close that window maybe, that'll help I think. And make our way up here, close that window and that curtain. And I mean, it might not be the safest sleep ever. It's also rather bright, which is unfortunate. Uh, this one though, this room is very well preserved. This one, I think, is just right. And so, Dusk, lay your head down, and let's finally try and get some sleep. I don't think this thing has happened, folks. We're getting very warm at the moment, so we'll stop trying to fall asleep. We could also just remove some of our warmer things. 
just while we're sleeping. There we go. I think that will help at least a little bit. And you know, I think we're going to go for the prescription sedative now. We're feeling light, headed. Might not have been what we needed, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, we fell asleep. And there we go. Waking up at 3.16 p.m. Not a massive sleep, but a decent one at that. Elliot, no doubt, is still fast asleep. And Dusk would have been asleep for longer. Yet the destruction of that horde up to the northeast echoes across the city. No doubt even David can hear it. Safely tucked away in his cave. With his flag wrapped safely around him. We have seen a lot more of the city today. And we have the mall as a goal going forwards. But something that we're going to need to keep in mind is that both Dusk and Elliot have lived a life of scavengers. And they're going to need to continue to do that. As we're now on the 31st day of summer. If they were planning on farming, that would have needed to have already happened. Things are going to start to get colder in time. And so, traveling long distance, they'll need to have a decent amount of supplies. Now, some of those supplies no doubt could be found at the mall. And while I'm certainly intrigued by it, Dusk is also intrigued by those enigmatic crystals that she could see in the distance, refracting the sunlight almost in the same way that that strange black crystal that she has worth thinking about. And as to which way Dusk will go next, I haven't quite made up my mind on that yet. So right now, it could be either traveling further to the northeast, towards the mall, or heading back in the direction of home, towards those strange crystals. Either way, it is going to be an adventure, and so I hope you'll join me. And for now, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode, and if you have, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.